folks. I know a lot of you are stuck at home like I am, and your parents are busy, and they're on meetings, and you are sometimes bored, and I am too. And I thought, I think I would like to read you some stories. So today I'm going to start with a book that's called Because Nothing Looks Like God. Because Nothing Looks Like God by Lawrence Kushner and Karen Kushner and illustrated by Dawn Majewski. She drew all the pictures. <clears throat> Where is God? God is in the beginning. In the first red ripening tomato and in cookies fresh from the oven. In the first fun day of vacation and in the tiny hands of a baby. Squirt chocolate chip cookies at me. Where is God? God is in the end. In the last sweet bite of birthday cake and in your worn, torn baby blanket. And the last wave of goodbye the end of a visit and in the closing moments of someone's life. God is the king. Where is God? God is in the way people come together in the sharing of a cold and gloomy morning and in the band-aid fix-up after a fall. In homemade gifts of clay and paint, and in morning hugs and goodnight kisses. The dog. Where is God? God is in the world. In bird chirp. Let's see if we can find a bird. There's a bird. And frog song and chattering squirrels and in the fly caught in the spider's web and caterpillars chewing leaves from daisies and in worms see the worms turning leaves into earth Where is God? God is everywhere. If only we look. God is wherever we let God in. does God look like? God looks like nothing. And nothing looks like God. But there are many things you cannot see. And still, we are sure they are there. Like cool breezes on a hot summer night, or the rays of sun drying puddles of rain, like the long hours before supper time, or the short minutes of day at the beach, you know they are there, but there is nothing to see. Like the kindness in someone's voice or happiness in a song. Open that wide, you can see her singing. Like the pride when mom or dad helps in your class or the jumpy excitement at the start of a holiday. You know it's there, but there is nothing to see.
like the love your mom adds to your good nights, Tori. Or your dad's hooray when you first tie your shoes. Like your hope when it's your turn at bat. Or your worry when your dog runs away. You know it is there, but there is nothing to see. God doesn't look like anything either because there is nothing to see. But everyone and everything gives us clues that God is there. Clues that point to the one we cannot see. How does God make things happen? Look at your family. See sisters taking turns on the slide and brothers sharing a new game. Watch how everyone comes together to help with dinner. She's got a whole loaf of bread in her arms. I think he's got the salad dressing. You think? How does God make things happen? Look at your school. A boy helps when another cannot reach. A girl shares her lunch. Watch how everyone shows the swings to a new friend. How does God make things happen? Look at your town. One family gives away money for people who lost their home. A neighborhood gathers books for children in the hospital. Watch how everyone helps a family with a new baby. How does God make things happen? Look in the mirror. Can you visit someone who is lonely? Or pick up trash on the playground? Can you and your friends collect toys for children who have none? How does God make things happen? With little hands and big hands. With young hands and old hands. With your hands. This was a very good book. See you next time.